Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the Scorpio Eclipse that will be happening on October 25th, just a couple days from now. Uh, I've been finding that these readings have been reaching out for about like six months or so, pretty, probably a little bit longer, I would say, until like the next set of eclipses, which will be in April of 2023, so next year. But uh, we're going to see... What is going on for you here, Aries? And yeah, it looks pretty good. I love that you end with a star card. There's like some sort of attention coming in for you. By the way, this is called the Pixel Tarot, if you're wondering what deck this is. Uh, love it. <laughs> it's an awesome. Uh, I, I picked it up randomly, and um, yeah, it's a really cool deck. So uh, you have the Nine of Wands as your current general energies. I kind of have this message of you know, like wanting to maintain the status quo. I don't really feel this is a bad thing at all, Aries. Um, you know what I'm saying here? I just think that maybe you're at a certain place in your life where you're like, okay, things are, you know, going well, things are starting to get better. Like, like let's maintain this energy. That's the energy that I get here. Um, if you're not, some of you aren't there yet, I feel just based off of everything that we're about to talk about. But what I would say is I feel over the next few months, you're going to be getting there. And this is kind of saying that you could just be maintaining the status quo. What I would say is that the Nine of Wands is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So don't stop trying to innovate. We're entering into the age of Aquarius. Uh, you have the star card, you know. So what I would say is Aquarius, <laughs> right? And, you know, I pretty much encourage everyone to experiment as much as, as much as you're comfortable experimenting. And what I mean by experimenting is like trying new things in business, trying new things in work, uh, trying new things with your health. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. So, you know, don't take this as medical advice, but, you know, trying new things there. It, you know, as long as you listen to a doctor, there you go, YouTube police. Uh, also, um, so there's your disclaimer. I would also say that, um, you know, this could be with your finances or whatever. And we're not talking about like taking huge, crazy risks. We're, ta we're talking about taking small steps and then trusting the evidence, Aries. Like, you know, you take a, a tiny little experiment, come up with a new idea in your business, you try it. If it works, then you try a little bit more and then a little bit more and a little bit more. You're trusting the evidence. You're not taking these huge, like crazy risks. But I would definitely encourage you to do that because again, I truly believe that the most growth for everyone will come through experimentation. Uh, you have the Seven of Pentacles as your crossing energy. For some of you, this is like a change in direction. You know, I feel like something isn't satisfying. I'm, I'm not really even picking up on one thing or the other. <laughs> it could be a relationship, a business, uh, a job, um, pretty much anything. And the other thing is, as I always say to you, I always get the message for you, and you're like the only sign that gets this, that I don't even think you have to leave a situation. I just think that a change needs to happen. That's it. It's like if you have business, maybe you're just not like completely satisfied. I feel like a couple little changes here and there could really make the difference between like where you're, you're at and clearly star where you want to be, where you want to go. And so again, I would experiment. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. I do wonder if something was hidden. You know, if we go like this, Seven of Swords to the moon to the Six of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Cups here, which is like walking away. For some of you, I'm wondering if something was hidden in a relationship or if there was lying, cheating, stealing. You know, it could have been something from the past here. Um, you know, I would say that I don't think you're going back to anyone. I think you're healing the situation with the star card if this is love. Uh, for others, again, what I would say is that he is stealing these swords from an army that's normally in the background of the card. So he's kind of going to war, but in a different way. It's just a card of tactics. It's a card of doing things differently than anyone else does them so that you can be successful. So I would encourage you to kind of like do things differently in your life because that, that's where the success will come from. In the area of your foundation, you have the judgment card. I kind of feel that this is saying that you're just like doing your purpose. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, Aries. I feel like you are kind of on your purpose or you're at least listening to your higher self. So I feel for a lot of you that you're kind of like, it's almost like you've answered the call already. I feel like you've already, you know, it's like you're doing the things that you need to do to be successful. And I hope that makes sense with this. And I also feel that you're paying attention to your purpose. There are also some, um, I'm, I never focus on the mountains on the judgment card, but I'm really focused on the mountains here. So I feel for some of you that you've recently overcome some obstacles. In the energy of the past, you have the 10 of cups. 10 of cups is like, uh, sorry, this past position is like the energy that you're moving past. And the 10 of cups is happily ever after. I don't think you're going to become unhappy <laughs> uh, at all, but I do feel that maybe you're 
kind of, again, not as satisfied as you want to be. It's like maybe this is a certain amount. I don't even think this has to do with family or love necessarily. That might be part of it, but I feel this is more bigger picture energy where there was a certain amount of satisfaction in the past. And I feel like that's what you're trying to get back to here, just based off, you know, pretty much everything that's showing up. Uh, in the near future, you have the moon card. Not exactly sure what to do. Again, I don't hate this at all. Um, and you have the Eight of Cups right next to it. Eight of Cups is the only card in the tarot that has an eclipse on it. And um, some people say that the moon card also represents an eclipse as well. So that's interesting. But, you know, I feel that, again, mountains in the background. Some of you might think you have some mountains to, um, you know, to climb. Maybe you feel like you have some more obstacles to overcome in your life. The interesting thing is, is I'm getting like warped vision or, um, you know, kind of like, mm, you know, it's almost like you're looking through something and it's like either, I'm not sure if it's making the mountains look farther or closer <laughs> than they actually are. So I feel for some of you, it's kind of like, you know, a rear view mirror or the mirror on your car says objects in your mirror might appear cl or closer than they appear or whatever, right? And so I kind of get that popping into my head with this moon card. I hope that makes sense where it's like, maybe there's an obstacle that you think is either farther or closer to you. Um, and, but there's also a great deal of clarity, I feel, coming because of the eclipse, uh, mostly because of that eight of cups. So I feel like there's going, if if you're not sure where you stand on an obstacle, doesn't even have to be a bad obstacle. I always say that the moon can be good obstacles. You, you know, maybe you're just having an achievement. Mountains in the tarot represent achievements. And I've noticed that twice in your reading three times now because on the star that star card has mountains on it as well but it's like something is closer than you think i i feel like closer uh you have the six of cups six of cups this is showing up over the next few months i do feel there's a lot of happiness coming in for you i also feel like you're just more focused on your own happiness like creating your own happiness i feel you're it's kind of funny because you know this can represent a soulmate coming in for you but I kind of feel very independent energy here where it's like you're really focusing on yourself. And again, I'm not saying you're not going to be in love or have a person, but I do feel just a very independent energy. And again, you could totally be with a person, take out resonates, but I feel like you're focused on your own happiness. I also feel you're focused on creating turnarounds. The six of cups can be a gift from the universe. And I always say the gift we can receive from the six of cups is obstacles being removed from our life. <laughs> so again, if there are any obstacles, it looks to me like they're being, being removed. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups can be walking away from things that no longer serve you. And again, this is all relationships, not just love. And so, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were kind of walking away from certain relationships in your life, or um, this could also be your relationship to something is popping into my head, like your job, your business, or whatever. The thing with this eclipse is that I think this eclipse could be bringing a lot of truths, you know, like exposing a lot of truth, right, in the world, personally, all that other stuff. So, you know, that could go any direction, but, you know, I think you're walking away. You have that seven of swords. So, you know, I feel that there are some, some truths without even clarifying yet. I think there are some truths that could be being exposed. And because of that, maybe you're choosing to walk away from certain people in your life. The other thing is, is like, this doesn't have to be that dramatic. <laughs> it's like, this could be your own internal truth that is being exposed. Like maybe you live somewhere and you're like, I, I hate living here. And you just decide to move, eight of cups. Maybe you have a job and you hate it. You, the, your inner truth is like, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. So you move. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be like some big dramatic, this person lied, blah, blah, blah. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Six of Swords. I love this because, <laughs> because I can't hold on to it. Uh, I love this because I feel like you feel like you're moving in the right direction. I feel like you feel that you're moving to calmer shores. It's like, you are you know, you're not there yet, but you're on, on your way. And literally, those are the words that are popping to my head here, Aries, is that you're on your way. You feel like you're on your way to some sort of success. You also have the star, and I just love this star for you for some reason. I feel that this is what you've been working towards. Like all these words are popping in, into my head. The star can be like your North Star, the thing that you work towards, the things that you, the thing that you want to create in your life. So I feel there's like a lot of success coming in for you, and I feel you're very focused on this star right here and creating the star in your life. And it's like you're really putting in the work in. I don't know what else to say. I also feel there's a lot of attention coming in for you. To me, you know, as I've been saying all year, to me for the next bunch of years, forever, for the rest of your life, 
I would be trying to get as much a positive attention as you possibly can in work, in business, in whatever, especially if you're like inspiring other people um, because that's why we're here <laughs> to right now. I think that, you know, people always ask me like, what's my spiritual lesson? What's my spiritual path? I'm like, really, you know, I personally believe we're just here to create our own reality, whatever that means for you. But also I'd say at this time, um, kind of inspiring other people to be successful, to pull themselves out of whatever they need to pull themselves out of. And again, we're not instructing people. We're not telling people what to do. We're just, just by existing, we're inspiring people. And that's what I'd be doing here. Uh, with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, you, you show up here, you have this assertion card. This is the sun in Aries. And so I feel this is just putting you in a very strong position here, Aries. It's putting you in a posi position of power and strength, allowing you to kind of accomplish the things that you need to accomplish. Again, there is an element of bravery, like needing to be brave at this time. And so I feel if you're like making a change, you're probably gonna have to be brave to make the change, but you're gonna be very successful. With the Seven of Swords here, you have this defense card. Mm, it's kind of weird because like everybody has had this card now that I think about it. Um, there could just be a defensive energy just in general, but I also feel like you're kind of um, defensive against everyone's BS. <laughs> so, so is this a bad thing? I would say no. I think you're kind of defending yourself from the Seven of Swords here. And I also think that you're probably defending yourself from, you know, people who want to cause chaos in your life. How many swords are on this? Six. So six swords on this card as well. You're probably just moving, you have the six of swords here, of course, probably just moving on from things or situations that cause drama. With the uh, judgment card, you have this inheritance card. Um, a lot of people have been getting this card as well. I don't, for some of you, could it be an inheritance, of course, but I think you're kind of just like inheriting ideas, like learning things that you need to learn, learning things that could create more success in your life and abundance. So I would pay attention to those things, like what you are inheriting. I'm also getting like, I would be careful of inheriting someone else's BS <laughs> as well. Like let's say you get into a relationship uh, over the next like six, seven months or so. This is kind of popping into my head that you could be getting in, some of you, not all of you, take it how it resonates and, and don't tell me all about how you don't want love. That's great. Uh, you know, go for it. But what I would say is if you do, then I would be careful of getting into something where, you know, it's like they start treating you like an ex or something like that. I don't know, it's popping into my head. Like you're inheriting someone else's BS. I hope that makes sense. Uh, with the moon, you have this flirtation card. Um, again, uh, you've had a Pisces all up in all up in your business. Not surprised, I'm a creepy Pisces, so totally get it. Right, Aries? And yeah, I feel like there could be a Pisces with that moon card. Could be a Cancer. Mm, could be any, could be an Aquarius. Uh, what else do you have here? Uh, that, that's really all I see, so... Could be one of those signs, but this card is about flirting. <laughs> so I feel like someone could be flirting with you or you're flirting with them. Uh, this card can also be like flirting with some sort of idea with that moon card. Again, I've been saying to everyone that the moon to me kind of represents needing to bring an idea down to earth, right? It's like you have some sort of dream, goal, wish, dream, and you're not exactly sure how to create it. The moon does not say stop. The moon says you keep going towards those mountains if you want the accomplishment. So you're like flirting with an idea. I feel for some of you, maybe you're kind of thinking of starting a business or kind of starting a side hustle or changing your career and like you're flirting with it. I would do it. <laughs> with the six of cups, you have the vision card, sun and Pisces. Uh, so definitely could be a Pisces coming in for you. Uh, I, you know, could be a soulmate. If it's a Pisces, I'll just throw that out there. But uh, whatever, take it how it resonates. For others, this is clearly about your vision. And again, with the Eight of Cups, your vision, I feel, is becoming very clear because your truth is being exposed. But it's like your your inner truth is being exposed to you. That's just it. <laughs> it's not being exposed to other people. I think that the moon, the Eight of Cups, this vision card, it's kind of like saying you're going from the moon period of not seeing things clearly, maybe to admitting to yourself what you really want in life. And sometimes that's like, a little bit of a moon scary kind of thing. Like if we admit that we want to, uh, you know, move, you know, to some other country or something, because that's truly what our dream is, that can be a little bit scary, right? Because then we have to do it. <laughs> um, and that's kind of like what I'm getting here is like, there's something that now you know you have to do. And maybe it's a little scary, but your outcome is a star, plain and simple. With the Eight of Cups, you have this risk card. Everybody has been getting the risk card as well. And again, I feel that walking away from the Eight Cups is risky, right? Because you're like, I had Eight Cups and you know, I don't know if I'm gonna go find nine. But again, you it's kind of interesting that you have the Ten of Cups in the past. You're walking away from Eight Cups and 
You know, again, that guy on the Eight of Cups doesn't really know that he's about to run into the Nine of Cups, which is total fulfillment. So I would take the risk here. I would also, again, if you have like a big scary dream where you it's your truth and you're admitting the truth to yourself that you really want something, then, you know, I would move towards it, right? And I wouldn't I wouldn't be ashamed to ask for it. You know, um, in Think and Grow Rich, for example, Napoleon Hill says that we have to ask for what we want, like unashamedly, right? If I can get that word out. We, we cannot be ashamed of what we are asking for. And I kind of get that feeling for you here, especially with that vision card, um, the six of cups, and also that risk card as well. It's like maybe the risk is admitting that you want something, right? So there you go. With the uh, Six of Swords, you have this affair card. This card isn't like an affair, affair, although you do have the Seven of Swords here, so obviously I would be careful if you're in some sort of affair situation. But this is actually a positive love card, so I definitely feel you could be moving towards a positive connection if you want love. Again, if you don't want love, I feel this is more talking about like business affairs definitely popping into my head. I'm also getting the word business fairs. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe you do business at some sort of like arts and craft fair or any other type of fair, right? Uh, if you do, by the way, I feel, well, there goes that card. If you do, and it could involve flying because that just flew away. Uh, if you're thinking about doing that, I feel like there is a lot of success for you. I also feel like you need to keep up with your business affairs. I'm gonna pull another card since that one just disappeared. With the Six of Swords, you have the Isolation card. Again, I don't think you have to be alone right now, but there might be moments of time where you choose to isolate yourself perfectly fine. Again, I feel there's success coming in for you. With the uh, star card as your outcome, you have this rebellion card. Um, this is Mars and Aquarius. Uh, makes perfect sense to me. You know, the star is Aquarius. So I feel you could be making some decisions that seem a little bit rebellious to the outside world. And I feel like this has been your message for a long time, that you could be making some choices or doing some things that people can't understand. But uh, guess what? Who cares? As long as you understand, that's all that you need to know. <laughs> Other people don't have to understand what we're doing, right? We do not owe anyone an explanation for the things that we do and right and who's to say what's right or wrong right so i feel for some of you you could be making some decisions that other people don't understand yeah people in authority um what what even is authority in your life you know this could be like your parents could be anyone like a boss who doesn't want you to quit or whatever but again i feel you need to be brave and i feel this reading is quite simple I feel like it's saying you need to move towards your kind of like your inner truth here. Yeah, I feel like you need to maintain your optimism as well here, Aries. You have that 10 of cups. 10 of cups, they're imagining that rainbow with the 10 cups in it, but it's like a card of choosing to be happy. The whole, the whole point of the 10 of cups is that they still have to live in the real world. They still have to experience all the real world, you know, problems, issues, and challenges, but they're choosing happiness. So I would just like choose happiness here. A pretty interesting reading here. Um, Aries, no reason to drag it out. Um, looks pretty good to me. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.